This video demonstrates how to use an Excel spreadsheet and our OpenAI custom functions for a basic prompt engineering task. That of selecting words from a phrase by their index, which is known to be an unexpectedly tricky task for GPTs, if not one you'd actually want to use AI for. To orient you, down the left we have the samples we're going to use to evaluate our prompts, the phrase, word index, and expected result. At the top, we have the prompt we're currently evaluating, complete with placeholders for the sample data and the model we'll be invoking. Below that, we have some performance aggregates across all samples. We'll come back to these in a minute. Finally, below that, we have the selected cell, which is where the interesting stuff is happening. This formula might look intimidating, but it's quite easy to follow if we break it down. The outermost function is our custom function, which invokes the chat completion endpoint for an OpenAI model. As with using the API or the playground, it requires a prompt and some miscellaneous parameters. The prompt, which you can see in the tooltip, is calculated by taking the template prompt from the blue cell and using various built-in Excel functions to substitute the placeholders with the sample values from the purple and red cells. The parameters are calculated using a different set of built-in functions to combine the common parameters, e.g. API keys, from the params named range in the param sheet with the model specified by the green cell. Let's evaluate this formula and see what result we get. The result of our custom function is a custom data type containing the whole API response. We'll see later why this is useful, but for now, we'll use the built-in value to text function to strip away the rest of the metadata and leave just the message. We can see by eye that this is the expected value, but let's automate that evaluation. A simple equality comparison later, and we can have a score of one for a correct result and zero for an incorrect one. And because it's a spreadsheet, we can easily aggregate the scores and costs up across all of the samples. Speaking of all of the samples, let's evaluate all 100 of them. As we can see, when considering all of the samples, the score doesn't look nearly as good at just 12%. I've heard GPT-4 is better than GPT-3.5 Turbo. Let's see how much better. It's certainly correct for a single sample, but as we saw, one result isn't always representative, so let's evaluate them all again. 65% is a marked improvement at a significant bump in cost, but there's also still a lot of room for improvement. Let's now focus on the prompt itself and see if giving the model some time to think makes for any improvement. Thinking, in this case, being an approximation of chain of thought whereby we'll encourage the model to count the words. We'll need some way to disambiguate the thinking from the answer. We'll arbitrarily choose the string end chain of thought, followed by a new line to delimit the two. Let's bring over the aggregates and the first sample for evaluation. As you might have expected, the completion is now prefixed by the chain of thought. Expanding the custom data card allows us to see a bit more of this, but the best way is to extract the lines property to a blank range of cells. Each cell represents a line in the completion. Let's change the result formula to extract just the text after the end chain of thought delimiter. Remembering that we also need to include a new line in the delimiter. And there's the answer we're looking for. Let's remove the cells we use for debugging and run all the samples. As you can see, it's taking significantly longer to run due to the increased completion length from the chain of thought thinking. And a perfect score at only a 48 times increase in cost. Let's try and do something about that whilst keeping the accuracy up. What happens if we drop back to using a cheaper model? promising. How about the rest of the samples? A 
a perfect score again, but this time at only double the cost. Using just an Excel spreadsheet and our OpenAI custom functions, we've been able to rapidly perform a basic prompt engineering task, all the while making quantitative assessments at each stage.